Garotting, Doobie Doo Sims. Let's go. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the channel, Doobie Doo Sims. Here today, we're doing a reaction video to more head. Um, Dooney sparks debate after knocking water bottles in men's Olympic marathon. Um, French runner Marhad. Um, Dooney spoke, sparked the debate on social media after a video appears to show him knocking over multiple water bottles in the men's Olympic marathon. Um, Dooney crossed the line in 17th place. So let's jump into this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Appreciate you. Let's get it. Hand, and and the French athlete. And Dooney, yep. it, so it, this is a water station. It, There's plenty of them. It. Oh, why, bro? Uh, is nah, that? That ain't right. That ain't right. How the f dude in the front grabbed it so easily, right? And the next guy grabbed it so easily. And then you came, that person grabbed it so easily, that person grabbed it so easily, and then you came, and it looked like you tried to grab it, but then you're doing this now. You're literally just mushing them all. Look at the focus. Look at his focus right here. And then like all of a sudden at the end, to grab the last water, that's villainous. That's a, that's a villain move. And what did he do after that? Hold on, hold on, we gotta... See what he did after the villainous move. He grabbed the water and he just kept going. And this poor guy, his job is to stack the waters back up. And these poor people, these unfortunate people, don't have anything. Yo, know, shout out to Kenya. Because Kenya's just destroying everybody. Look look at three dudes from Kenya. All in the front, like, no questions asked. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just a villainous move, honestly. Like, um, you could say, like, oh, I was trying to grab it and I didn't grab it to the end. Okay, we can hear that explanation, but then the other explanation is like, bro, like, why you just did that so villainous to end up in 17th place? Like, maybe you would have ended up in third place if you didn't do that. Karma energy came back and got you in some way. Maybe you got tripped up, shoelaces, got spirited, and I don't know. Yeah, others jumped to the French runners of faint, saying it was accidental and that he must have been disoriented at this stage in such a warm marathon and that there was another sh water sh station shortly up the road. One runner, runner tweeted, he's not next to the table, he's having a bend and stretch while running at speed. He sandwiched between other runners, no doubt absolutely knackered by the heat and humidity, benefit of the doubt, it was an accident. We could say that, but, um, and I'm not saying that it's not, but this dude, and then the next dude, and they all had no problems, no problems, no problems, no problems. Alright, now where he's, where is he at? Now he's right here, right? Okay, maybe he's having trouble. He tried to grab it there. He couldn't grab it. Couldn't grab it. But then he has a perfect grab at the end. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We're going to have to hear from him. We'll be waiting on your word, Morhad. We're waiting to hear what you have to say. You know, we want to give you the benefit of the doubt. And hope that you're not doing anything villainous. We're all in it together, man. We're runners. Runners stick together. Runners for life. Bad boys for life. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about this video. Do you feel that he did it on purpose or do you feel that it was an accident? Sign off in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.